I want to talk about, hands down, the best remedy to prevent heart attacks, okay? And you're going to be asking yourself, why have I not heard about this before? Why isn't this in the news? Um, well, because there's no money in it. That's really the bottom line. Who's going to promote it unless they make money on it? No one. A bottle of this remedy, which has hardcore scientific data to show that it can prevent heart attacks, is only $3.19, okay? Three bucks. So if you say you can't afford it, well, I think you can. Now, I'm going to put a lot of the research down below. One study called the Coronary Drug Project, which was placebo-controlled, used this nutrient, okay, to show incredible results. But the remedy is niacin. Now, it's funny because my dad had heart problems. He had a pacemaker, had atrial fibrillation. And without my recommendation, he chows down these niacin tablets like all day long. And he seems to be doing pretty good. But there's a lot of research on niacin that goes back decades. And you want to get the niacin that gives you the flush. I would recommend an extended release niacin at 500 milligrams and do at least one a day. All right, so let's talk about what it can actually do. It significantly lowers your cholesterol, specifically oxidized LDL. Okay, that's the type that creates inflammation. It has potent cardiovascular protection. It has been found to lower the white blood cell reaction in the inside of your arteries because when your body is forming a plaque in atherosclerosis, you have an immune part of that as well that is usually responsible for inflammation, which we, we don't want a lot of inflammation in our arteries. Well, niacin decreases monocytes and other white blood cells and the inflammation that comes along with it. Niacin significantly lowers something called CRP, C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein is a strong predictor of mortality. C-reactive protein is a very strong independent predictor of heart attacks, or you can call them myocardial infarction, peripheral vascular disease, and stroke. If there's high levels of C-reactive protein in your body, you have inflammation, okay? And niacin can help squash that. You see, when a clot forms or plaque forms in the arteries, you always have first this oxidation going on. Well, guess what? Niacin suppresses that oxidation. It acts as a very powerful antioxidant as one of the things it can do. And I think the biggest thing why it's so powerful is it gets rid of vascular inflammation and it prevents the lipids or the fats from depositing on the arterial wall. It also reduces triglycerides too. And at the same time, it increases the HDL. So niacin has the power to slow and reverse arterial sclerosis. And I know you're wondering, why haven't I heard about this? Why isn't this promoted all over the place? Well, like I said, there's no money in it. Niacin can decrease the mortality risk in people that have cardiovascular disease. Niacin tends to prevent dysfunction in that inner layer of the artery called the endothelial layer, which is where it all starts. And it significantly reduces the adhesions that form in that wall. Now, on the flip side, a lot of people that have high cholesterol uh, are taking statins. So let's just kind of touch on that um, while we're on the topic. So it is true that statins do block and lower cholesterol, okay? But there's no evidence that it reduces the risk of getting heart attacks. But basically, statins work by blocking your body's production of cholesterol. The problem with that is that to make bile salts, you need cholesterol. And without bile salts, you can't now absorb vitamin A, D, E, which is very, very important, K1, K2, which is another vitamin that's very, very important keeping the calcium out of the arteries. Also, you need that cholesterol to make testosterone. So a lot of people on statins end up with very low testosterone. You know, there's actually no long-term placebo-controlled statin trials. I guess they can't do them in humans, so it's a big unknown whether statins really increase your life or not. But what we do know, they have a lot of side effects, especially to anything related to your muscles. They block something called coenzyme Q10 that the mitochondria needs um, within your muscle cells. And your heart is a muscle. And so some of the side effects 
are muscle wasting, okay? Heart failure, all sorts of achiness in your muscles, including low back pain and, and other types of pains. So I'm not telling you to get off your statins. All I'm telling you is to research, get the data, show this data to your doctor. I'll put the links down below, an informed decision based on the data versus the general consensus of what everyone's recommending. So if you're concerned about your heart and you have heart issues and you're on medication for the heart, you may want to consider taking uh, this niacin. It's very, very inexpensive. Get the extended release, 500 milligrams, take at least one per day. Now, if you have not yet seen my video on the best meal to protect your heart, I put that up right here. Check it out.